Hello you guys, welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Hall, okay? Listen, Joel chapter 2, times 2, a message for you. This Joel chapter 2 was given to me twice, uh, first on Thursday, Again, early in the wee hours, Friday morning, I went to work. I had my Bible with me, and um, it was placed up on my heart to put a message in the break room, gather the people, pray, fast, just basically cry out to the Lord. I made a copy in my Bible, highlighted it, 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 it just let Joel chapter 2 speak okay so of course the Lord is still saying in this hour gather 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 the people gather the people the Lord said in his word that it is his will that no man should perish no man shall perish okay you don't want any man to perish okay so uh, Joel chapter 2 in my Bible, I, I like the Bibles with headings because uh, from verse 12 to verse 17 says, the Lord's call to repentance. So this gathering is basically a call to repentance. Some of you probably are already fasting and praying. Some of you, when you're praying, you are probably already been praying for your family members, friends, coworkers, and so on and so forth, and, and praying to the Lord and just crying out. I know I have been, and um, you know, I mean, just with tears and mourning and 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 weeping and and mercy, mercy, grace, mercy, grace is is like the highlight of your prayers right now, right, right. So uh, a call, the Lord's call to repentance, and and from verses 18 through uh, 24, the 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 title in that says great things from the Lord. So on tomorrow, you guys, in your churches, in your churches, if you have a church home, go to the altar, okay? Go to the altar. The Bible says gather. Let me let me just read it, okay? It's kind of dark on one side. Let's see. So it says, Blow the trumpet in Zion. I'm going to start at verse uh, 15. No, 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 no. I'm going to start. Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm going to read verse 1 first, but I want you to read the whole chapter on your own. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread up on the mountains, a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations okay and then it says um I'm, I'm gonna skip over no let me just read it i'm sorry let, let me just go ahead and read it let me start with verse five like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in battle array before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust in another. They shall walk everyone in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run up on the wall. They shall climb up up on the houses. They shall enter in at the, at the windows like a thief. Okay? The earth shall quake. 
before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining. You know why this is? It was a revelation given to me back in 2014 that the reason why the earth quakes, the reason why the stars don't give it the shining and the moon won't shine is because the Lord's presence is in the earth. The Lord is the light of the world. So there ain't no way that the stars and the moon is going to outshine Christ. So the earth shakes because you know, with the pre it's the presence of the Lord in the earth. So that's why we get the earthquakes. That's why the earthquakes come. Because the presence of the Lord is is near. It is nigh at hand. Isn't that powerful? That's powerful. So the Bible says in in uh that the earth shall quake before the heavens, verse ten shall tremble. Okay? And then I wanna skip down where it's in verse 12 there also now said the lord turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the lord your god for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of the evil who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord our your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregations, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Listen where it says great things from the Lord from verse 18 on down to verses um, 27. Great things from the Lord. The, the Lord said, who knows if he would leave in Joel chapter 2, if he would leave a blessing behind. He would repent of it. So what does also so that means? That a lot of prophecies that has went out won't come to pass. That is a good blessing. That is a good blessing. That's a blessing above any other blessing. Amen? Yes, it is. That's a huge blessing. If some of these destructions and calamities and things that the Lord has, 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 has purposed and has prophesied in the earth, he would, relent, he would repent of those things. Okay? So the, the whole thing is, he says, rend your heart. He sends these things to get to the heart of man. And I, I do believe it is my conviction in, in Joel chapter 2, and this is according to the word. It, it's right here in, uh, uh, from verse 28, 31, the heading says, a pouring out of God's spirit. When he say he will leave a blessing behind, I do believe, and it's also been confirmed, I heard it earlier through um, Harvest Army, that there will be healings and things. Okay, it is it, 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 right here, right here in the word. I believe it is my conviction that also people would start dreaming dreams and having visions. There be some people that, that are not having visions and dreams. You always wanted visions and dreams. It, hey, I'm not saying to go to the solemn fast just for that, because the Bible clearly says, rend your heart, sanctify yourself, but put yourself before the Lord, and you want to cry out. You want to cry out to, to, to the Lord for uh, a repentance. Rend your heart and then pray for your families, your coworkers, your friends, anybody you know that is that is living wayward or backward of the Lord or, or not in line with the word. Who knows if he would leave a blessing behind? And as I said, a huge blessing is some of these prophecies won't come to pass. Hopefully none of them will. Okay? But I, I do believe that there's going to be blessings. I, it says it in the scripture right here. There are going to be blessings. 
I believe that there are going to be people prophesying. There are going to be people filled. You know, when uh, the Lord w- was before the people in the Bible, they said, didn't your heart just burn? Didn't your heart just burn with him? The, the, the word of God is life. It speaks to every depth of your soul. Is life. He says, come all ye who are heavy burdened and laden, and he will give you rest. Anything that you're going through, I'm sure tomorrow he will give you rest. Tomorrow is his day. He's calling for the people to gather. He's going to give us everything we need. Everything we need in Jesus Christ is going to be present. It's always there. It's just that we leave his presence. But now he wants our presence. Okay, to be before him at our altars, to be before him fasting and praying. And you guys, make sure you fast, okay? Um, I do believe just because the people are going to be obedient, he's going to um, he's going to bless these fasts. I know with a, without, a, without a shadow of a doubt, the people that is going to obey this, You will not leave it the same. Now, let me say this also. For those of you who do not have a church home, you can. For those of you who do not have a church home, um, listen, Harvest Army Live. Harvest Army Live. I know there's a lot of people, for whatever reason, in your your city or whatever, you haven't found a good church home. you can go to Harvest Army Church Live. I say Harvest Army because I know they are a voice of the Lord, okay? And also Henry and Monique Ministry. They now have a Sunday service. You can watch that at 11 o'clock. But you just want to make sure that you're present. These are people that I know for certain, of a certain, is the voice of the Lord in this hour, okay? Uh, that I know that holds Sunday services, and you can be present because you are the body. You are the church. He says gather, and, and, and we're, we're, you're still gathered. You're watching via the web, okay, but that's okay. You just pull it up and be amongst the gathering, be amongst the assembly, okay? I know that the Lord will honor that. But if you have a church home, be in your church home. Remember these things that I'm telling you. Just just, just get on your knees, get to the altar, cry out to the Lord, and pray. But I encourage you to go to Harvest Army's Live. That, uh, it will be 7 o'clock p.m. Their time tomorrow is, one, is uh, the revival service, I think. It will be 6 o'clock Central Time. Or... Also, you can also, just for a church service, uh, you can watch their 11 o'clock service, but it will be 10 o'clock Central Time. I think that's how that is. But just look it up. Um, type in Google Harvest Army Live, and you can find out all about it. It's uh, their 21-day uh, revival that they have, 21 or 22-day revival that is going on. Also, again, you can also watch Henry and Monique Ministry. Henry and Monique Ministries at 11 o'clock. That would be also central time because they're in Texas. So make sure you do that. Also, pass this video along. Pass it along to family, friends. If I happen to have someone uh, that is watching me, you're in my family, please share this video. Again, please share this video. Get this video out as to many people as you can, you guys, we want to pray without ceasing. We want to fast. We want to stay in the Lord's presence. We want to repent. We want to rend our hearts. We want to ask for forgiveness. We want to pray for mercy. We want to pray for grace. We want to pray for the world. We want to pray for the lost. We want to pray for uh, that the Lord would repent, that he would uh, not go forth with these prophecies, okay? Um our land is in need of healing, and uh, I know many of you can see that, especially, um, you know, the southern states, uh, Australia, uh, the Philippines, Indonesia. Pray for places like that as well, okay? All right, that is it. Um, I've been kind of 
like on laying low with the Lord is what I'm calling it now, laying low with the Lord myself. Okay, so um, you guys uh, be blessed, and I'll see you next video. Thanks.